Hello guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at creating a basic Unreal Engine 4 C++ project in third person. We won't be doing any actual programming, but we're gonna create a basic project and we're gonna go through the code and uh, blueprint, blueprints and a couple of other subjects. So let's get started, go ahead and uh, fire up Unreal Engine, click on new project. Click on the C++ tab and select the third person template right here. We will create this project with starter content. Select a folder where you want to install the project. And we will also name this pro project third person. And go ahead and click create project. So now this will take a while. Uh, Unreal Engine has to be started, the project has to be loaded, and the project has to be loaded in Visual Studio as well. So I'm just gonna pause the video real quick here and be back real soon. And also don't forget, if you don't have Visual Studio installed, you can download it for free, simply Google for Visual Studio download. All right, so that's it, the project has been started and I'm running the UE4 engine here and I've also got Visual Studio open here, which we will need to go through the source code later. For now, let's open up the UE4 editor. I'm gonna right, uh, click this here to open the sidebar. I'm gonna go to content and then open this folder, the third person CPP. And let's go into blueprints. So this is actually a blueprint of our character, which has been generated automatically as we created the project. Now we're going to go through what blueprints are and I'm just going to read from the documentation of the UE4 page how they explain blueprints. And now you need to know this because this blueprint here is actually based upon a C++ class which we will uh, uh, go through later, alright? So blueprints, the blueprints visual scripting system in Unreal Engine is a complete gameplay scripting system based on the concept of using a node-based interface to create gameplay elements from within Unreal Editor. As with many common scripting languages, it is used to define object-oriented classes or objects in the engine. As you use UE4, you'll often find that objects defined using blueprint, blueprints are referred to as just blueprints. This system is extremely flexible and powerful as it provides the ability for designers to use virtually the full range of concepts and tools only available to programmers. In addition, blueprint specific markup available in Unreal Engine C++ implementation enables programmers to create baseline systems that can be extended by designers. All right, so that's the explanation from the UE4 documentation page. So basically what that means is you create C++ classes in UE4, then you create blueprints which are der derived or created upon the C++ classes, all right? So when I'm programming something in UE4 and C++, I generally, I usually write the, a class. When the class works and every, all the code works fine and stuff, I create a blueprint from, from it, all right? So the blueprint is basically, basically created as a sort of gateway between programmers and designers. So a programmer can design, uh, a programmer can program all the logic, uh, logic and stuff, then derive a blueprint from all the code, and a designer can change some settings and stuff in the blueprint. All right. So that's what a blueprint is. Now we can open up this blueprint just to check it out. Uh, so double click it, click open full blueprint editor. I'm just gonna drag this window here. So as you can see, we got a couple of things you can set up here, settings for our character. Go ahead and double click this third person character and we, it will open up a viewport here, which you can see. And you got a couple of settings here and you can drag around stuff. And we got the capsule com component and arrow component and some stuff. The reason I'm showing you this is because we're gonna go through the C++ class where this, this stuff is actually created. All right. So now inside this blueprint, go ahead and click class settings. And as you can see here on the parent class, there's something called third person character. All right. 
So this is the C++ class that this blueprint is created upon. All right, so now we know the name of the C++ class. We can go ahead and close this blueprint because we won't be using it no more. And here in the sidebar, go to C++ classes, click third person. And here we got two C++ classes, all right? So here is the third person character, which we're gonna look at soon, which the blueprint is created upon. And we also got the game mode here, all right? So now the game mode, which we're gonna open up in Visual Studio. So open up Visual Studio, source, third person, and then third person game mode, all right? So as you can see, this is a very simple uh, game mode. It's simply setting the uh, player pawn uh, blueprint class, which is the third person character we just have had opened, all right? And then it's setting this to the default pawn class of the game. So basically our main character for this game, all right? Generally about the game mode, the explanation for it is it handles the basic rules of the game, such as how pausing the game is handled, transitions between levels, and how many players are currently present in the game. So the basic rules of the game are created in this C++ class right here, all right? So this is a simple explanation for the game mode. We can go ahead and close that. Now for this, this uh, third person character C++ class, we're gonna go here to source, third person, and we're gonna open up the third person character.h to the header file for the C++ class. So as you can see here, we got a couple of properties which can be defined in the blueprint which is created from this class, all right? We won't go through this, but just simply so you know what they are. We also got a couple of uh, functions here, move forward, move right, and stuff like that, which we're gonna take a look at in the main uh, CPP file. And as you can see, this uh, a third person character class is derived from something in Unreal Engine called a character. The a character class is responsive, responsible for all physical interaction between the player or AI and the world. And it also implements basic networking and input models. All right. So let's go ahead and close this header file and we're going to open up the third person character.cpp. <clears throat> now, before we continue with the third person character.cpp file, we're going to open up Unreal Editor and just show you how to set the game mode, which I explained earlier what it is. So the game mode is set from here. Go to the edit, project settings, go to maps and mode. And you can see here that you can set the default game mode. So you could create your own C++ game mode class. All right, and set it from here. As you can see here, it's set to the third person game mode. All right, so we're gonna close that. Just so you know where to set the actual game mode if you create such a C++ class. Now we're going to take a look at the third person.cpp file. So, as you can see here, we got the constructor for our uh, character, which have a couple of properties like capsule size. And I just show you this if you open up the Unreal 4 editor here, go to content, third person CPP, blueprints, and open up the blueprint here again, go to viewport again. You can see this uh, capsule comp component, for example, and you can see these properties, capsule half height and, cap and capsule radius, 96 and 42, the value of those, it's actually set from the C++ file, all right? 42 and 96, all right? So you could change this right here. So let's change this to 40. And you can do this as you follow along, just to understand how it works. So change, change it to 40 and then go over here, click compile to compile the project. So now this is gonna update to 40 since the blueprint only reads the values from the C++ class, all right? So as you can see now it's set to 40. 
but you can also change it from here since it's an uh, editable uh, property, all right? So the capsule is created here. We also got some basic character mo movements. We won't go through all of these. We also got a camera boom, as you can see if you open up the blueprint again. A camera boom right here, created in C++. And we got the full camera, which you can see right there, also created in C++. All right, so you understand basically that these components are created in C++, derived in a blueprint where they then can be editor, edited by anyone, all right? So that's just some basic information about the constructor, the constructor for the C++ class for the character. Then we got this uh, function setup player input component. This is how the uh, character responds to different uh, actions, ma action map mappings. Like uh, if you click the space bar, it should jump, move forward. If you're using a keyboard, W is pressed and so on and so on. So these are simply created here. Then they call a function. So if you look at jump here, we're binding the, an action called jump. I'm gonna show you where it is created real soon. And then we're calling a function in this class called jump. So if you go down here, let's see if you can find the actual jump function. Oh yeah, right. That's a bad example because jump <clears throat> is called directly from uh, the UE4 library. Uh, instead, let's take a look at this one. Move forward. So we bind an axis here. Move forward, and then we're moving forward. So we call in the move forward function. So let's take a look at the move forward function. So as you can see here, it got some basic uh, logic logic uh, for moving forward. All right. Now we won't go through what all of this does, but just so you understand the basics of it. So for example, if we wanted to create this axis, move forward and create a function, which you can call, what you would do is you would open up the editor, go to edit and project settings, then go to input. And as you can see here, we got the action ma mappings. And we also got sort of the action mappings and the axis mappings. So in this example, for move forward, click, click the arrow here next to move forward. And we got WS, up, down, and game path settings. So as you can see, we're using W to move forward. And we're also using S as the move forward because when S is pressed, pressed it goes backwards. So it uses the same function, but with a different kind of velocity, all right? As you can see, the scale is set to negative one. So it's the opposite of one. All right, so this is where you define the actual axis and action mappings if you want to bind them in C++. So let's go ahead and close that, open up Visual Studio again. And now this project comes with a couple of things that you can remove, like touch start, touch stop, if you don't want your game to work for touch devices. And a couple of other things like VR for virtual reality games. And the same principles are for move right as it is for move forward. It, a binding is created in the editor, which is then created in C++. All right. So that's it for creating a very simple project in C++. Now if we click play, we're gonna get all the basic stuff here that comes with the C++ uh, third person template. And all of this is created automatically, automatically for us. But I hope you uh, learned something from the explanation and you understand the basics of uh, how a C++ class works together with the blueprint in the actual UE4 game editor. Now I will use this as a kind of template for future UE4 C++ projects. So it's good uh, uh, if you know this, if you're planning to follow more uh, UE4 C++ tutorials. So thank you and bye bye.